Hey guys, Vazilla here. So pretty much exactly two years ago, No Man's Sky launched, and it launched at a pretty unfinished state, a lot of people would say. Some people thought it was an amazing game when it launched. A lot of people, though, really were not impressed. And if that is really how that game was going to launch, you were probably expecting the game to never make a comeback. However, recently, two years after the game came out, there's been a lot of discussion around No Man's Sky because of its new next update and how it's now basically returned to public eye. And in this video, I wanted to talk about No Man's Sky, but I also want to talk about its future. So I made a video one year ago talking about No Man's Sky and if it has returned. Basically, No Man's Sky on the Steam pages at that time was getting very positive reviews. So I was questioning whether No Man's Sky had finally gotten to a state where people, the majority of people, actually thought that the game was well worth it. Well, now I think that the majority of people who are now getting their hands on No Man's Sky, at least in 2018, are enjoying it now because of how the game is compared to what it was before, and now you can do way more, and this new update promises way more than before. And I said in that video that I am interested in picking up this game now because of the reviews, and fast forward to today, and I want to get it now more than ever because this new update promises more than I ever thought this game could have. But there's one thing that I thought of that if it came out would definitely make me 100% purchase No Man's Sky. And that is a portable version of it. Now, No Man's Sky is still a game that I feel like works really well on dedicated like home console hardware. And there is some out there like the Xbox One, the PS4, and even your PC. But where I feel like No Man's Sky would work best would be on something like the Nintendo Switch. Because of the game and of how like expansive and big it is. And just being able to never have to leave that experience and being able to take it with you. I feel like would be one of the best ports of the game. If not the best port yet. Just because of that one feature. This is not unique to No Man's Sky. A lot of games, especially that are in the same open world style that come out for the switch usually end up doing very well and usually are they like the definitive version because you can take it with you or you can play it at home on a your actual tv so it doesn't it does make sense for this game to come out for the switch because i think that hello games would know that with the success of the switch launching it on there would be a no-brainer but in this video, I want to talk about No Man's Sky and the possibility of it coming to Switch. And just talk about the features and things it should have that would definitely make it the definitive version. But before I get into that, please leave your thoughts on this topic in the comments. What you want to see out of No Man's Sky on something like the Switch. Let me know in the comments. And I will try to read all your comments because this is more of a discussion video. I don't think, I, I don't know definitively if this game's coming up for the Switch. I would like it to. But of course, what do you think of this? Let me know. So, very obviously, the first thing I'd want to see out of No Man's Sky on the Switch is an actually decent portable mode. So, what I mean by that is that something that runs well. That's the thing that needs to definitely happen. The graphics can be turned down. That's totally fine. And you can No Man's Sky can definitely, I guess, be the lesser port on Switch when it comes to how the game looks. And I guess maybe the frame rate doesn't have to be 60 all the time. But I would appreciate it if it at least stayed above 30 most of the time. Because that would definitely make the experience at least playable. And definitely any major drops, if that could be ironed out, that would be de w really helpful. Speaking of a decent portable mode, something else that you'd have to have for a decent portable mode of this game is to have good controls. Because the Switch has one of the strangest layouts and controls, at least in portable mode, of this entire generation because of how you hold it because of how the joy cons work so it would be up to hello games if they want to add motion controls if they want to do interesting stuff with the ir sensor and with the joy cons or if they just want to make a traditional experience that just uses a normal that's just basically very comfortable controls but definitely in portable mode it is really important to have the controller feel comfortable when playing this game Another thing that would be nice to have would be good resolution. So, on the Switch, the highest you can go is 720p because that's the resolution of the screen. So, if No Man's Sky was 720p in portable mode, if they were somehow able to do that, that would be great. 
and 720p like 30 40 maybe 50 60 fps if it's possible without major drops would be very very ideal however in actual like docked mode the resolution should be upwards of 1080p i think that that's the sweet spot for gaming in general but i don't know if that could be achieved i think it would probably be between 720 and 1080p so maybe like 1600 around there just something that at least looks good looks better than some 20p but doesn't at the same time run terribly or look terribly as in the graphics are like n64 graphics something that is actually playable the next big thing i'd like no man's sky on switch to have if it were to even come out would to be to launch with the next update i think that no man's sky if it were to launch it would at the very least launch with the next update but Launching it with like before the next update I feel like would kind of hurt it because the next update is gathering a lot of attention and launching it with the next update could promote it more and I feel like the next update could be a giant uh, I guess a selling point to a lot of people but it would be instantly the definitive version for playing on portable mode it would also be the only version to play on portable mode. But launching with the next update would I know a lot of people would be more enticed to actually get it on launch day. And also, one of the more larger things I'd like to see out of No Man's Sky on Switch would be actual cross-platform play for multiplayer. So No Man's Sky next would be a more multiplayer-focused update in a lot of areas. And I think that if No Man's Sky on Switch were to be able to cross-play with PC or maybe Xbox One, if that would be possible. Because the Xbox One and the Switch have had a good cross-playing relationship, as well as PC. So doing that, I feel like, would help a lot. I know that Sony's not going to allow it because they're Sony, and right now their PR is terrible, but still, I feel like it would be an amazing addition to have crossplay be on Xbox One and Switch and PC if No Man's Sky were to come to the Switch. So those are all the features that I can think of, but let's talk about rumors. Is there anything that's actually saying that we're going to see No Man's Sky on Switch? W well, no. There's actually no rumors at all saying that there's even any chance of that happening, like, at all. There's nothing coming out of Sean Murray, there's no leaks or rumors at all, and that's kind of worrying for No Man's Sky coming to Switch, at least in the next few months, because if No Man's Sky were to come to Switch, the development would have to probably be starting now if they wanted to come out, like, maybe a bit after the next update. And being honest, if we're not hearing much, I don't know if it's maybe because they just started, if they are working on it, or it, it's most likely that no development has started at all. And while that does kind of pain me to hear that because I would like to try No Man's Sky on Switch, it does make sense. I mean, No Man's Sky is already having a big update coming to it, and if, if Hello Games can really has no interest in launching it for the Switch, then... I don't know if we're ever going to see it, being completely honest. If there's no rumors coming out, and at least right now, then I don't think it's going to be coming out in the next little while. And if we don't hear anything for uh, a while, then I think I'm just going to start to lose hope. Because being honest, although I'd like to see it, if it can't happen, then it can't happen. But what do you think of No Man's Sky coming to Switch? What do you think of the odds of it coming? Do you think that it would ever show up on the Switch? And what features would you like it to have? Let me know in the comments. I appreciate all your support. And if you want to check out my social medias to stay up to date with me, I'll have those linked in the description. And I hope you enjoy this video. And see you.